Okay, we got somebody else here, uh, Mr. Tony Adamowitz, yeah. who was a, a 1969 Formula 5000 champion, and uh, among many other. Um, and he'd like to come up and say a few things. He's probably one of the oldest race uh, contender drivers with Milt. So uh, here's uh, Tony. He's older now. Yeah, no, we need we need a drum roll. That's what we need here. Show me your idea. <laughs> nicest real people in motorsports as a driver. Uh, he's uh, a real character on and off the track. Uh, as far as being on the track, uh, most of the time you think that he's sideways, but uh, he, uh, he had a little trouble when he came back east. And I met Milt in 1965 uh, at Marlboro, Maryland. And uh, it's a little track, a mile and a half track road circuit. And it was right outside of Washington, D.C., and there was a Trans Am race there. And um, uh, Milt was driving a uh, Mustang for a, a fellow named Banjo. And uh, he was a character back then, but he was having a little difficulty with the circuit. And he came up to me and he says, how do you drive this circuit? <laughs> and uh, being very enterprising back then, I said, uh, well, uh, I'll show you how to drive this circuit if, uh, if I could get to drive. And uh, so he kind of led me on, and I showed him how and uh, gave him all the tips that we could do because that was my hometown circuit. So I knew all the tricks back then. And uh, so he did really well. I'm not sure how he finished the race uh, at this point, but uh, he was very, very uh, thankful for all the help. But, uh, you know, lo and behold, I think that we probably ran into each other uh, many times uh, during the course of the year. But just to know that uh, he, he, we go back that far and to know he's still around and still doing a great job in vintage. Uh, he's doing a great job in doing uh, all, the, all the vintage races that he does. But uh, I have to tell you one story that uh, I think the story is, is uh, just to give you how honest uh, Milk was. We were in Daytona at a 24-hour race there, and, and as you know, these long races after a while, uh, you get to the point where you, you have a little bit of fatigue, and I'm not sure he had a little fatigue or not at that time, but... Uh, you know, we were sitting at the pits and looking out, and he says, he said, i got to ask you a question. And uh, being that, you know, I've known him for such a long time, I said, go ahead, Milt. He was so serious. He says, uh, he says no, he said, i got, he says, I got a real problem. He says, i got to ask you this question. And I said, go ahead. He says, do you piss your pants? <laughs> and I said, what are you talking about? And he says, no, he says, uh, he says uh, I get so excited, I get in the car, and once I get in the car, he says, I got to go to the bathroom. So he says, I piss my pants. He says, don't you do that? I said, no, I don't do that. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, I want to I talk about the honesty of this guy here, but, uh, you know, we're not going to try to embarrass him too much, but uh, I had to verify this with uh, uh, Michael Kaiser, who is a mutual good friend, and as you know, uh, Michael has uh, been involved with uh, the Speed Merchants, and, and he's been a friend of both, uh, both uh, Milt and myself. And i got to say that uh, Michael drove with Milt, and I told Milt, I said, I never want to drive with him as a co-driver. And, uh, and, and Michael says, well, why? And I says, well, I said, do you ever notice when you got in the car after Milt? He says, yeah, the seat was always wet. <laughs> and I says, well, that wasn't sweat. You gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> the one thing about Milt, though, I mean, again, uh, he never gives up. And that, uh, that's his uh, motto, a donkey bop. And uh, so he never gives up. And he's still here today, and he's doing great. He's doing a great job, and we, we really want to uh, uh, address this to him and, and offer a little special uh, a presentation for him, if he'll just hold on for a second here. Really beautiful, beautiful lithograph, and I hope that uh, you get to enjoy this in your home for many, many years. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, everybody, for coming out. This has really been great. I can hardly believe it. <laughs> That's about it. You gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> Bye, thank you. Thanks, everybody.